Hello, everyone, and welcome to the summer 2020 release featuring the new in-app guidance walkthroughs. So let's start out by giving an overview of the new functionality. The setup page is much the same as it was in the previous release. You'll note that you will now see walkthrough as a type of guidance. Otherwise, very similar functionality is like before with views, completes, cloning, etc. Let's take a look at an existing walkthrough by clicking on the Start Testing button. The first step of the walkthrough is highlighting the recently viewed list for opportunities and recommending to pin the list to save some clicks. By clicking on Next, you are drilling into the first record on the list to an Opportunity Record page. You are now seeing a step that discusses the Highlights panel to let you know that some important summary information is available right at the top of the record page. Click Next and learn about details. This step is highlighting that you can make updates inline quickly. Go ahead and update the probability percent, and you can see that the prompt will stay in place. It won't go away until you dismiss it. Another nice feature is the added handle, so you can grab the prompt and drag it out of the way if it's covering something you need to see. Now click Next again, and you will be navigated to another page in another app. The last step is a docked prompt that has an embedded video. This is a great feature that lets you learn in the app without having to navigate away from what you are doing. You can maximize the prompt out to make it a little larger as well. When you have watched the video, you can minimize the prompt until you have time to click the action button, hit the trail, so you can learn more. Now you can skill up when you have time. Add links to Trailhead or any other URL that you want to drive users to so they can get more information. Back on the setup page, click Edit on the row level action to open the walkthrough we just looked at. Notice the new builder in the Summer 20 release. There is a right panel to choose the type of prompt for each step. The left panel shows each step. The rest of the app is running in the middle and you can just navigate around the app. We take care of keeping track of what page you are on. This is still all done with clicks. Clicking next in the right panel gives you the section to enter in the title and body of the prompt. Clicking on each step in the left panel lets you easily navigate through the walkthrough. Now you will see in the last step that we have the docked prompt to end the walkthrough on. You can embed a video if you choose as well, as add in text. The first step in the final settings is the optional action link. If you want to drive users to more action, add the label and link here, and the link will show on the last step of the walkthrough. In our example, it said, hit the trail, and it sent them to Trailhead. The remaining steps are the same from the previous release. The scheduling lets you determine a start date and optional end date, how many times to show, and the delay between times shown. The profiles and permissions allow you to identify the subgroup of users to target with the walkthrough. The activation is where you give it the name, description, and decide if it's active when you save it. That's it. That is how easy it is to create a walkthrough. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the new in-app guidance walkthroughs.